This is Ben Harris reporting for JTA. I'm here at Chavav Yadam, an ecological educational institution located not far from the Israeli city of Modi'in. This place is completely off the grid. They gather much of their own rainwater, generate their own electricity, and even process their own waste. We got a tour earlier today to see how they do it. Our first stop was to check out the farm's water system. Each building here in a farm has, has this black container. It's actually collecting water from the roofs. It goes under the ground. Then we take whatever water is in here and we use it to irrigate in the summer. Chavavi Adam prides itself on not letting anything go to waste, including its used water, which it collects in a gray water pool. There's two stages for the pool. Here the water grows slowly, slowly, slowly through the gravel, goes all the way down to the second part of the pool, okay? When it gets to this side, all these lovely plants, okay, drink up all the filth that's left in the water. Basically what you have left in the pool is clean water. But it's not just liquid waste the farmer uses, but solid animal waste and even human waste, which it converts to rich fertilizer. This I was eager to see. So this is our compost toilet. Looks almost like a regular toilet. If you look inside, it all falls down into here. Why is it colored in black? And also why are these here chimneys here and also colored in black? We want the smell from the bathroom to go up and leave the building. This, this is why there's no smell in the bathroom. It's true. It's true. In addition to keeping their waste out of the public sewer system, the farm runs community gardens, where residents of the nearby city of Modi'in can grow their own food. This woman gave us a tour of her garden, as well as a taste of her freshly harvested sugarcane and a crisp red radish. It's better than the Mexican taco. The farm is also home to a group of English speakers from abroad, who spend five months on the farm learning about ecology and permaculture. All my needs are being met in this very small environment. My social needs, my my housing, my housing, my health, my my food. It's all being met on this location, and which is very nurturing and sustainable, and it makes me feel more at ease. And I, so my big transformation is just learning just how to be, be in these small moments on the farm. We are trying to make it uh, not just for ecology or ecology or a sustainable life. Uh, it's about to be aware about your life. It's not matter how you li live the life. That kind of awareness is evident in the farm's approach to electricity, all of which is generated by this solar panel. But what happens when it rains, as it did during my visit? Then you have to just figure a way of how to uh, play between the different needs of electricity. You just have to decide, is it more important to um, have a light in this room, or maybe 10 people can go to the same room and work in the same room with the same light bulb. And while the farm also produces medicinal herbs and vegetables and embodies high standards of sustainable living, including, for example, using recycled products as insulation inside the walls, the point of it all, according to the farm's founder, seems more spiritual than environmental. To, to take a responsibility to, to be in a reflecting place, reflecting place about their life, what they are doing, why they are doing it, what I believe we have to be in this place all the time. It's not, a, it's not a, just when I get something from outside. From Modi'in Israel, this is Ben Harris reporting.